Okay, so, all set. So what are we actually supposed to be doing here? It's... Let's make this quest. Search the lava forest. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You might be able to find remnants of old pre-imperial dwarven culture somewhere. Return there and search any ruins of buildings. And bring back anything tied to this era. Client anti antiquariums. Now get a dagger plus two out of this. And some money. So search buildings. Um... So I don't think we're going back to the shed. I don't think we saw any buildings here, did we? Found spiders. Maybe it is the shed. We already, already went there, didn't we? Spirit or notification. You have no notifications. Not sure about this new Steam client. <laughs> Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the about section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you, and once again, happy Friday. Trap. Ah, uh, I see where it is. Yeah, is this one of those traps we can blow up? I can't really tell. It's on one of those walking logs. Oh. So when you walk on it, you fall into the lava and die. Hey, look, an old building. Oh, you found one? Yeah, we're over on the right-hand side. I'm sure there's nothing in here. Nope, nothing at all. Oh, look, a chest. Oh, we're not going to try to disarm this trap that's over here? Oh, or we can just have to start some Jeff. battle. Good job, Jeff. I was just looking in a chest. Look at all the fire stuff. I was I supposed uh, to know they were going to just pop out of nowhere? You haven't learned your lesson yet? Don't it's look in... Time. Oh, come on. Name the other times. This is the first time I've done this. The one with all the four elementals with the nice little thing in the chest say, Don't take it. There's that See, I was just looking in there. I didn't take anything. Then there was the no. library that said, don't go in there. Don't take any votes, books. There's that one, too. No, that was not me. Oh, no, that was Hobo, technically. Um, yep, that was a Hobo. <laughs> and then there's the, the one you didn't want to give back, the one that gave you all the 20 uh, stats. You didn't want to give that one back. We had to force you, because otherwise we couldn't progress. So. I don't know why we had to give it back. <laughs> So, Jeff. Okay, so that was maybe at most twice. Three. You're going to count the hobo one and it's four. <laughs> it's okay. I don't. I don't hold it against you personally. I mean, it's just pointed out. 
This will happen. Oh, I know. This happened all over again in Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah. Now, does anybody know, does Baldur's Gate 3 have like multiple ending types or possible endings in it? I'm hoping it does. Many permutations. Cool. Okay. So I don't have to worry about, you know, playing through it once and having the whole thing ruined forever if you do multiplayer after that. No, I was just reading today about um, uh, endings and somebody, there's a number of going around the internet about 17,000 permutations. Really? Okay. Of course, you can have the, uh, exactly the same ending, but one sentence about one NPC that you saved or killed may be different. And then there are... Have you ever finished the DLC for Baldur's Gate 2, which has the real ending of the whole story of 1, 2, and the DLC? Which DLC? Uh, the Throne of Baal. Uh, I finished it, but I honestly thought it was 30 years ago, or close uh, to it. I played many RPGs, and this one has the longest tapestry ending of I ever saw, and it has so many permutations possible. That, that was really cool. Okay. And it's fair to say, 174 hours of cutscenes. <sighs> how big is this game going to be? But, depending on how you play, is what you will be seeing. Maybe in one playthrough you'll see a third of it. Right. At no, max. Yeah, I wouldn't expect to be able to see everything in one playthrough. So, no. That's fine. It may be the last game you ever have to play. Maybe. <laughs> Depending on how old you are. I see Hurricane is playing. Is that true? Should click end to turn. Oh, yeah, that's that's usually kind of important. Yeah, I was playing the... Yeah, I pass on the review because you're a fire. I uh, was playing the... Introduction area, the, the tutorial area over and over with different classes and, and specs and, and builds. So if you can take a charm on your character that you use to it, it's very good. <laughs> it can help you uh, on, on certain dice rolls, you can use it to get advantage. It's not only for combat. Right. Yeah, there's some, yeah, some stuff is outside of combat, which is always good. Talking with animals or talk to... Uh, that is also good, so you can get some extra quests. And the animals have a so funny dialogue. There's multi, uh, multi-classing. Yep, but not in the uh, early access version. For now, it's in the final version. Okay. There's no stat roll in it, and I think it will stay that way. It's just uh, the the that pool, and you can then distribute the points you got. That's fine. Target is immune to shoving. Come on. They're elementals. How are you going to shove an elemental? But they're little elementals. I'm bigger than them. But they're made of fire. How would you shove fire? I don't know. Stick your hand in there and get it nice and toasty warm. Oh, look, it's my turn. If you can mock spiders and animals and stuff, you should be able to shove over elementals. I'm sure you could. If you tried hard enough. Oh, and if you're thinking about taking a bard, do it. Vicious Mockery has over 100 lines recorded of nice insults. <laughs> Just take it for the insults. That's some crappy damage rolls. Two, one, 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 five, six, five, two. I need a feat that increases my damage by per dice roll. Roll away too many ones and twos. I 
you're not Hobo. You're Hurricane. Where's Hobo? There's Hobo. Again, harder! Yeah, elementals don't care about your poison. death animation. All the bigger elementals have gone to uh, actor classes and some of them do better than others but way too dramatic. Overly dramatic. Ah! Yay critical miss. Hey, Taco, welcome back. Happy Friday. It's not a screaming more than a male dachshund walking through a room full of mousetraps. That's not funny. That's just mean, Skybird. See, disintegration works on a uh, elemental. Arcana, Muto, Malmis. Answer is yes. You never set the mouse traps. Okay, ah! it's not so mean. Swings you're gonna get. Mm -hmm. Out of range, which is out of range stuff. Stolen. 
Okay, now I have to go back and still disarm that trap. I feel that was a learning moment. The part where you're not supposed to uh, loot stuff that doesn't belong to you? Sure. So, can you make that jump? <laughs> Pretty sure I can. Turn to the quest board. So I think we're done. Really? That's it? No, I still have a click thing on that little building. Is that? But Jeff uh, collected it. Oh, let's take a turn off then. Oh, okay, it's just the, okay. Arcana gave you some boats and a hammer. Yeah, both. Of them, huh? Yeah, those should be uh, both identifiable. I don't think. Hey, let's just uh, slain another work week. Don't worry, it'll be resurrected on Monday. It's a dwarven hammer. That's it. Junk thrown in the lava pit. I think that's a quest item. Has a flag oh. on it. Okay, I guess we should take it with us. Of course, they get to me. Ah. It is a quest item. This looks like a dwarven thrower, but it seems to be protected by some kind of powerful spell, and it's just the uh, and it is just as though no one was able to wield uh, yield its magic. Maybe you're just not worthy. What are you trying to say? It's a goblin kind. Advantage on dex, dex, stability checks, stealth. Nobody's doing stealth, so we don't care. So it's a quest. The boots or the hammer is a quest, but it's not a quest yep. we have. We uh, that's the side quest. We have to return to a quest board for the boots. Oh, that's no, right. For the hammer. The hammer. That's what. Okay, that's the yeah, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so what's do we have in the forest? Yes. And like another twenty five years or so only. Jeff, go drag Hobo over. Okay. No, it won't let me dominate him. Hobo, wake up, Hobo. Arcana, Conjo, Viribe. He's haunt his haunt his dreams with your little spirits. It's not working. Mm 
Let's see if we can teleport him there. Dimension door, where are you? There's dimension door. Yeah, I'm here. Oh. No, you're not? Gotta go to the blue square. Rectangle. I was stuck there for a minute. Oh. Off we go. And let's see, so we report back to the council and or sorry, let's gotta go back to town. So we wanna go to Portland uh, Dark Castle or Probably easier to go to go back. Or we could just, you know, run into that. Well, two spiders. <laughs> no choice, we have to fight them. Hello everyone, Speeders. my name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the about section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. Also, please click the like buttons on his videos. You will feel better about yourself. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you and happy Friday. You're whining. No one's whining. Why would you say that, Taco? Nobody's whining. We just didn't roll three ones. Let's see if a sound would pop up like the hot tub. Nope, that's not how that. No. Oh, no. It's a 
big spider. Total Warhammer broke the PC? No. Why do you think it? Why would you say it broke the PC? Target is too big for this creature to show. Oh, it is, Jeff. It's bigger than you. Everything's it's, bigger. Than you. It's got eight legs too. Oh, just asking? No, it didn't break it at all. Nope. Actually, it was very nice. All the games so far have been very smooth and everything. It's very... It's almost shocking. Spiders have been learning online. They have been going to webinars, probably. I think every spider has to go to a webinar at some point in its life. Complain about yours. I have a possible 30, I got 14. Uh, two sixes and a two. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, it is. Rather D10s, not D6s. Makes it even worse. That's the way. Given. Oh, he's making this saving throw against the poison, that's why it's not working. How did I miss? What the hell? <laughs> I need to do zero. Oh, the critical miss. That's why. No, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, because you do minimal damage, which is zero. You're one still. Wait, how can zero be minimal damage? You think minimal damage would be at least one? Because that'd be damage. It's because you, it does half damage when you miss, and it rounds down. So half a one is 0.5, round down to zero. Because why would you, why wouldn't you run round down? I mean, because you know players they don't need their ego stroked, right? I don't know about you, but <laughs> it'd be nice. So, out we go. We're almost at level 12, we're three quarters of the way through uh, 11. Spiders, only 110 hit points each. 
more hit points than Gimpy has. Monsters run away from the party. Why did it have three attack? What, spiders? Because that's what they have, based on their level. You chop their legs off, they are easily defeated. Most things are. in this game to transport us around. I don't know. You kind of need legs to have feet. Oh, that's why if they get their legs chopped off, they're defeated. So many poison things being made. <laughs> you guys have that on auto make or something? It's coming through so fast. No, I'm on my crafting screen. Every time it's finished, I click OK, click the next, and start. Oh, okay. I was wondering how you did that. Okay, so we need to go talk to the board. So, returned. Magnificent dagger. It's a plus two dagger. I guess so. So nobody wants the boots of Ellen kind, right? Do they have to be tuned? Yes. Just like everything else. Oh, yeah, I think they do. No, they don't. Well, then I'll take them. Okay. Okay, you have the boots. I'm pretty sure they didn't say they need to be attuned. Okay, so we all quested out. Two more weeks? Two more weeks of what? Oh, that dagger plus two, that might be... Hmm. Dagger plus two is what, 1d4 damage plus two to hit, plus two to damage. So that, that really... Ki it's kind of better for Holo as an offhand weapon. Uh, one dice six plus one right now. Right, so you do two to seven damage. So basically it's a... Better chance, a slightly better chance to hit for a little bit less damage, like one point less damage, but 5% chance increasing to hit. So, eh. It's not a bad thing. I mean, plus two dagger, it's plus two dagger. Yeah. I don't have a problem hitting with my daggers. Till you do. So, until Gimpy says something. <laughs> <coughs> so, council time? It's 
Say again? Council? Council yes. time? Yes, time to go to the council. Well, the plus one long sword I have. Anybody wants it? No, I don't. Or should I just sell it? Sell it. Wait. Jeff is waiting. Hmm. The thing helps them a bit more damage. I barely use uh, melee, but I would take the long sword over the quarter staff. <sighs> Traitor. Oops, wrong one. Dude, why do I have a dagger plus two? Anybody using that? No, Hobo could, but he doesn't want to. No. Nope. Right, I'm selling it then. Skyward. Man walked into our library and he noticed that the book covers were either crimson, maroon, scarlet, tomato, or carmine. When he asked the librarian about the book colors, the librarian replied, Why? Well, all the books have been read. All right, Jeff is done. Where's the red? Sorry, that's not sorry. That's just that's just a pun. Okay, ready to talk to the council? Yep. Yep. Guessing Jeff has is too. Yep, Jeff is good. Gems missing? Perhaps they've been destroyed. We tested the first one. It can't be done. They must be magically concealed. So the crown must remain incomplete? Maybe the Sorax have the missing gems. After all, they attacked you more than once. They're clearly still after the crown. If you can't find the gems, why keep the crown out there? It'll just keep attracting the Sorax. The attunement, remember? I'm sorry, senior deputies, but despite the attunement, I believe the crown should be secured. And secured by more than four adventurers who spend their nights camped in the Badlands. We can't do that to them. They have served the council faithfully. Don't be naive. We are facing a major threat. You understand the meaning of sacrifice, and so should they. We have searched the Badlands for these gems at our own risk. We trusted you to keep your word and leave us the crown. If I may, I think we need more time to consider the situation. More time? How much time? Maybe just give it a night. I could use the day to consult with my people. So could I. Fine, then. Anyone against? Me. Thank you, Lord Danantar. The Legacy Council is now adjourned. You don't get a vote, Kimpy. Should. I have a bad feeling about this. I knew it. They'll take the crown, and never mind what that does to me. This is wrong. We could run. What's the point? We know what's at stake. They're right about one thing. The Sorax will keep coming after us, after the crown. We could retrace our steps, go back to where we found the gems. Perhaps there's a trail we overlooked. There's nothing anymore. I can't feel another gem anywhere. Excuse me, senior deputies. Master Shospel. I would advise you to avoid the palace residence tonight. What? Why? I'm not at liberty to say. Just trust me. You have your lodgings at the Gravekeep's cask. You should spend the night there. But what kind of advice is that? Are you really working for the Arcaneum? Why else would I be here? Because you're kind of creepy. This elf is... What creepy. do you think? It sounds like a warning. Or a thread. Can we trust him? Trust the new empire? I have no idea what to do, but I'd like to sleep in a bed tonight. I miss Carol's beer. 
And Merton's sweet talk? I prefer the residents. I like Captain Ironshell kissing me goodnight. Maybe in your dreams. Free room at the palace, though, yes. The free room. Well, yeah, free room. Rather than spending ten gold on a room? Jeez. So, what are we going to do? We are leaving. Let's run away. <laughs> We're going to run away. What does it actually say? Take a long rest. Council will reconvene tomorrow and I'll wait for the next day and return to the council hall. So Maybe we can sleep outside the walls. And then there's no way to do that other than through time. Yeah, that's what I mean. No, oh, I yeah, but I don't think that actually triggers it. I think you actually have to rest inside the city one way or the other. Okay, then pick a spot to sleep. No, that's what I'm asking you guys. I don't want to spend the ten gold. I don't really care for his beer, so. Okay. Jeff. I want a tavern. I like the tavern. Oh well. Oh, I could go for a beer. It's donkey piss. Okay, I guess we're going to the tavern. Okay. And where is it? There you are. I believe we're going back there for the donkey piss. No. What about uh, the taste? It's about that it works. <laughs> Ew. That it works. It works at being very disgusting. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? The 10 or 12, the Would donkey piss flavor won't matter. Yeah, but you gotta get there first. 10 or 12 is a lot. Is a lot. That's a lot of donkey piss. Oh, that was exciting. Could have been worse. Hey, how come uh, what's his face is still here? Arwen. That's probably where he hangs out. Senior deputies. Captain, what's the news? You didn't Hello hear. everyone. Your quarters at My the name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's what? Twitch channel. When? If During you are enjoying night, what you are watching, you please click the follow uh, button in the lower the right corner of the too. video screen. They were more than that way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes it. live. Who you can that? also find Gimpy on I YouTube where he posts sure. previous episodes and Some highlights of the stream. Just cat. scroll down under the we video screen and click the YouTube there, button in the About section. Well aware. Then we click the Subscribe the button to follow. In also, please Thank click the Like buttons informed. on his videos. Captain. You, you will feel welcome. better about yourself. Good day to you, That's it. Deputies. Thanks. So he told the truth, that Hedlon. He knew. But how? He's a spy, or something similar. He looks normal to me. That's what spies do. We must decide on our next move. Back to the council, I suppose, and see what they decided. Or we could pay Surespell a visit. Talk to Surespell, see what he has to say. Oh look, he's right here. Here you are. Do you find our visit surprising, Master Shawspell? No, not at all, since you followed my advice. How do you know that? You're here, alive and unwounded. I heard there was some disturbance at the residence. Is that so? But clearly you're here for business, not small talk. Now to the council. So they, mm, okay. Well, council, council, council. There we go. Can we do all the running? Travel interrupted. 
Honourable Delegates, please be seated. The Legacy Council is now in session. Chancellor Gorm's daughter has the floor. Thank you, Protector. Honourable Council Members, we at the Guild of Antiquarians have come to an agreement regarding the quest for the Gems of the Crown of the Magister. We believe that the Crown should be secured and therefore surrendered by its current owners in exchange for a generous payment raised by all parties in the Council. You can't. You will wait for your turn to speak, Senior Deputy. We searched the Badlands for these gems, and now you're just taking the crown away from us? Order! We are well aware of your reservations, and we understand them. Yet, from what I heard, all parties have agreed that you should comply for the security of all. Security? You talk of security? What security? Just last night, Sorax attacked our quarters in the residence. What? Sorax? Here in Kir Kiflin? In the palace? Order! Immediate action is needed. Well, find the damned Sorax then. Please, my lords. You! Where are your paladins? Where are your wizards and their divination spells? Stop it! None of this is helping. Lord Sunblaze, you're supposed to be neutral here. Someone must introduce a formal request. Right. Apologies. You're right. Let's vote. Only senior members, please. Those for securing the crown, say aye. 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 Hmm. Nay. Nay. Well, we have a majority. We'll help you with the attunement issue. Whoa, whoa, wait! Who's gonna take the crown? And where? Well, the most secure location would be... the Temple of Aenar, of course. The Hearth. Of course! Right here in Kerr Kiflin! Neutral ground, of course. But still, the Principality of Masgarth is the center of Celasta. Do you have a better idea, Dean Fasek? We have secure locations, too. How many high-ranking paladins in your tower, Fasek? More than actual wizards in your school. Order! <laughs> Remember the dignity of your positions, my lords. Senior deputies, if you please. The council has spoken. Someone here is a traitor. You're all stupid. This is a mistake. Somebody is a traitor. You keep bickering instead of looking for the traitor among you. This is a grave accusation, Senior Deputy. Thank you, honored delegates. The council is now in recess. I went nowhere. How could they? It can't end like this. I can hear it calling. Senior Deputies, please, a word. Summer? What do you want? Your Chancellor led the charge against us in there. I'm truly sorry, but I have some information that might interest you. I doubt it. It's about the secret cult of Arivad. What? I admit, this is second-hand intelligence, but still... Speak up. One of my people saw a man with a tattoo. The letter A? Yes. He followed the man all day, and to a gathering that night, in a remote village to the south. What village? It's called Eakorn. Very small, but you'll find it easily on any local map. Thank you, Halman. You're welcome. Someone must take care of these cultists. And the council, well, you know. Yes, we do. Sadly. Oh, look, more people will talk to us. I'm so sorry. Why? You didn't betray us. I understand how they see things, but something's wrong with the Council. The Council's still young. Everyone is angling for influence. But squabbling academics are better than clashing armies. Only Ergotine supported us. I mean, beside you. Why would the New Empire be the only friend we have in there? 
Ergotine's a moderate, it's true. But the new empire is subtle. Plans within plans. It's hard to say whether he was following orders or voting his conscience. I wouldn't read too much into his vote, at least for now. It didn't change anything, anyway. But what about you? How are you coping without the crown? Better than I expected. Same for me, actually. It almost feels like we still have the crown. Exactly. We lost its magical power, but the voice is still calling. Interesting. So the attunement is unaffected by physical separation. Keep the crown safe, Marshal, will you please? You have my word. The guy standing in the stone was most likely the traitor because of the power of scenery clipping, yes. Your car is probably in the middle of a maze. Or it is a maze. Okay. So I guess we're going to Earcorn. Yes, we're going to Earcorn, where everybody wants to go. It's where all the cool kids hang out these days. Okay, map. Exit. So the council is distracting us with minor side quests. Shh. Come on, you pansy. Hey, Get hey, back you. in there and fight. Not drowning in your beer today, are we? No, wait. They took the crown from you? How do you know that? How? You, you really think I'm just a drunk? The whole principality knows you have that crown. I mean, bad. Yeah, indeed. Something's not right. You think we need you to tell us? I mean something's up. Something big. What exactly? They're here. Who? The Sorax? Not them. They're pawns. You're drunk. What is wrong with you? Haven't you seen enough? Didn't you see what they can do to people? At first I thought you were just another bunch of brainless council lackeys. Hey bag but of water, it way. is time to take a break. And plenty Go other stretch places, your legs. I'm sure. The way they your get next break is in hands. one hour. I've watched the people of Kerr Kiflin for ten years. I've felt a change. Slow. Subtle. Until now, it's getting stronger. And I can't let them win. So what? You're ready to become a hero again? I can still fight. Are you offering to join us? You brought back my sword. That blade and I, you slayed countless abominations down there in the Badlands. You helped me get closure for my lost child. You were at my side when we took down the Remoras. Yes, I'd like to join you. Wait, what? What lost child? Uh, do we come with us? I can actually find it. <laughs> now you're we? I don't remember finding a child, but you know. Your corn is probably in the middle of a maze. I always said that right. Hey, Tiger, welcome back. Your corn sounds like something you removed with a cotton bud. Okay. So we're still supposed to go into your corn. Well, little Jeff is Merton's long lost child. Yes, that's it. That's it. Wow. <laughs> Uh, anyway. No Go ahead. No, I was just saying no respect. Oh, no respect. Okay, so there's your corner to the south, but uh, Veronica says we're supposed to take a break, so this would be a good chance to, or a good time to do that. So, you can get up, stretch your legs, get some water. Be back in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video.